My name is Christopher Ross, and I'm a UC Davis student majoring in international relations. So first things first, I just want to say that I am not a representation of every IR student at UC Davis or in general. Because you, you might see that in this video, I don't do that much academic work just because my classes are more laid back this quarter than they've actually ever been. It's so weird. I only have to do three papers this quarter. They have like three week gaps in between. And I just got done with my first papers for my all my classes, and I'm still waiting for them to be graded. I'm a little nervous because the problem with that is that if you mess up on one, you're going to spend the rest of the quarter trying to catch up. I don't have busy work anymore, such as doing assignments every single week as I've had last quarters. And also my courses are obviously different. I took Spanish in previous quarters, that's just I'm reading down with a bunch of essays every single week. Now I decided to take a break from it just because I, I just got tired of Spanish. Plus I speak it every day at work anyways. And I just wanted to take a chill quarter for this final academic school year as a junior. Technically I'm senior status, but as my third year. So I'm a International Relations slash RTC slash regular minimum wage worker. Let's get started. I want to show you guys a week in my life, see how interesting that is. Alright, it's 9 it's nine o'clock right now, I just got home from work. As for homework for my other classes, I need to read, but I probably just won't read tonight, probably tomorrow night, just because I want to get this ROTC work done quickly. <laughs> bro, that's a weird looking fucking headlamp, bro. Let me look at this. This man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> is that standard issue? Welcome to uh, PT, April 21st, 2021. I'm the PL, this is gonna go incredibly well, or else I'll be in trouble. Yeah, let's go. Chris, is it with Chris Films? Ready, set, go. Hitting the weight too heavy for him. No eagle look, bro. One. Two. That was all ego. Three. Yeah, that's ego. The ego's massive. It's only three reps, but. Each rep increases the ego. Best deadlifter in the program, right here. You always know. Okay. 10 pounds so just got back from pt it was a pretty good session as you can tell and i'm just gonna take a shower get ready for the day so i'm gonna drink my daily protein i got cookies and cream and i have chocolate my favorite i drink it with water now instead of milk just because milk gets you gives you a little belly my experience so two things that she brings up here is first of all this issue of sexuality and, and she'll continue yeah it's safe we're gonna get my lunch and then yeah i guess i'll have to go to target right after so I can get my shampoos and stuff like that. 
like that. Let's go. Yeah, better watch it. Better watch what? This thing costs two hundred dollars, all right? Better watch it, bro. <laughs> Show him. What? Show him, Miller. Let me go. You, you, it doesn't make a fucking sound. Here. Intel indicates the Atropian force consists of two to three personnel. Something goes bad, but we're also going to be breaking contact so we can put it back at the objective. All right. So one thing that you fucked up is that your own weapon was in the dirt and, all, and almost your whole platoon's weapons were in the dirt as well. So that's one hit against you. Let's go, Kong, come on. So I just got back from lab. I know it's pretty hot, but I don't get too carried away with editing. Then I should start my reading after we two books for my history class. They're pretty interesting, but I always push it out till the end. Reading in general, I just always lag on that. But they seem pretty interesting so far. So I could get started on that. They're not due for, I think, two weeks or three, which is good. I need the time. Yeah, that was my Wednesday. Let's see what's gonna happen tomorrow. Takes them to life as well. That time, it's this enormous area. Sleeping, like you will get a spot report. Alright, so I just got out of that Zoom meeting. It was pretty informative. I liked it. It was interesting because she's a young officer, young lieutenant. She just got out of ranger school and she was telling us all about her experience and not only that, her unit and just tips and tricks on how to be a good leader, how to lead a platoon. That was pretty dope. But unfortunately, I had to leave early because coursework is always calling. And now I'm gonna be a few minutes late, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna close anyways. It is 12.54 right now. See y'all uh, at night and I close at 8 p.m. And then after that, go home, sleep, get ready for our infamous 12 mile ruck tomorrow. That one's gonna hurt, but let's get it. Hang on. My favorite part. All right, what's up everyone? Look at my new whip, new Chevy Colorado. I'm just here to deliver parts. I love when AutoZone sends me on a run to deliver parts because it gives me a reason to be out of the store and I like to take my sweet ass time just listening to my music and all that. It's pretty easy, just as long as I don't go past the speed limit. In the story, I've already had two warnings because I've been past the speed limit. I think I was going like 71 for at the same time within the same week. So I thought that was funny. That was with my old manager. Let's see how this one reacts. She seems nice too. All right, midway through my shift, it's four o'clock. Just right here, I'm waiting at the mechanic shop. Waiting for a battery. I don't care, I get paid by the hour. I can wait however long I want. I actually want to go on my lunch because I'm kind of hungry. But I guess when I get back, I'll probably go on my lunch. All right, so for those of you that don't know, I have a second YouTube channel. It's a car channel called Chris Vlogs Cars. It's on, if you want to check it out, my channel. I'm continuing editing this project. And I have two videos I need to edit. And for those of you wondering, that ruck is for tomorrow's 12 mile ruck. This whole living room's a mess. I'll clean it tomorrow. But yeah, tomorrow we have a 12 mile ruck. That weighs about 36, 37 pounds. And it's no joke. It's gonna hurt. Okay, right, yeah, go get it. 12 miles, baby. Come on, we're getting it! 
Smart, guys. That one sucked, not gonna lie. That one sucked. What do you gotta say, Smith? What do you gotta say? Yeah, that was a fantastic performance by Ford Gold Battalion. Zero slacking, everyone under three hours. 10 out of 10. Don't fuck with us. <laughs> Let's fuck go. Yeah, fuck yeah. Best That's platoon nine. around. Seven, one, one eight, one nine. Three, yeah. Whoa, McGinney! We got another like six. I got 251.19. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, Spassky! Come on now, Spassky! You gotta finish this. The, how many? How much time? Don't stop! You made time, Spassky! Let's go! Push it out! Let's go! You got a bit. Push it! Push it! Hell yeah, Castro. We got, what, 40 seconds? Come on, 40 seconds! 40 seconds! Let's go! Push it! Good job, good job. GG, GG, GG. GG, Monty. GG, GG, good job, good job. Hell yeah. Good job, good job. I'll make time, I'll make time. Fuck it. Look at him. Good job. Even injured, he still made time. Hell yeah. Good job, good job. Fastest dude on here. Good job, good job, good job. Fuck yeah. We all made time. Good job, Castro made time. Good job, Citron. Post Huamo. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Look at those freshmen. For real. We're gonna haze them later. <laughs> Alright, so we just got done with that 12 mile rug. That one hurt. I just took a shower and now I'm here at the car wash. You know, you gotta support the local businesses. And I think they do a pretty good job. After that, I'm just gonna go home, take a fat nap right before I need to go into work at 3.30. It's late because we had breakfast with the boys from 3rd Squad. You know, we earned it, so it was pretty good. Damn, look at her now. Thought her scratches and dents. She's a beauty. All those scratches and dents build character. I'm hella sore. I'm here at work and I don't want to stand anymore. A lot of things hurt. Yeah, that 12 mile really took a lot out of me. But I'll probably get home. I'm hungry. I um, kind of want to eat something good like pizza. Probably order a Domino's. Yeah, I'm really hungry right now because I just went home. Drink my protein shake and then I just ate a few snacks. Took a fat nap. Had to get out and leave my apartment early so I can get here on time. I'm tired. Yeah, that's it. That's my Friday. So it's Saturday morning. Yeah, after work I just went home. I forgot to film because I was just tired. I ate and then I just knocked out. It's uh, it's nine o'clock now. I'm gonna go to the auto shop so they can install my new part. I'm excited and then I'm gonna come back home after use the meetings have to attend. Then I'm off to work again, closing as usual. We'll see my new schedule, my work schedule for next week. Hopefully I don't work as much because yeah, I'm tired of working almost every day. Wow, I'm very disappointed. So I'm here at the shop. They told me that they're open at Saturdays 9 a.m. Nobody's here. Wasting my time not to go back. Get ready for my meeting. Wow. Very disappointed. I really wanted my part to be installed today. But we'll see next week. See what happens. You know, I'm one of those people that are doing a pandemic, so entering the work for Alright, so I'm going to work. I'm late as usual, but my manager already knows that because I texted her that my meeting ended right when I was scheduled. Not good. I'm not tripping. Probably won't record at work just because you already know what happens, so it's pretty boring. I don't want to get too repetitive. Hang on. Hang on, look. Alright, so it's Sunday. I had to come in at 9 at 6 o'clock. Did a 9 hour shift. Felt freaking long, especially because my manager actually made me do a lot of stuff. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna go home. I'm tired. I'm, I'm sleepy. I don't know. It just felt like a long shift already. Gonna wash my clothes. Gonna get ready for the week as well. Yeah, that's pretty boring. Hey, yeah, I like that. Monday just got out of PT. I realized I wear the same, I have all these types of shirts, and I wear the same one, the same green one, and the same black sweater. For my J's, I only wear these running shoes, work shoes. That's it. I don't even wear these three pairs. I used to have way more, but I decided to donate them. And a lot of these are just like t-shirts. Great for workout, but reality, like I said, I only wear the same ones. I wear this too. Yeah, this is my wardrobe, my room.
and for that class political inequality i have to do another essay and it's due in i think like two and a half weeks so i want to get started as soon as possible so i don't have to do it last minute like last time and that's it all right so just got out of work it's monday monday night now and i haven't been recording i'm gonna give my two weeks notice i don't work tomorrow surprisingly so i'm gonna give my two weeks notice on thursday hopefully i'll be able to quit by the end of this week yeah it's been a long week and a friend of to the United States. He was an engineer. He had never married. And he remembered my mother. And he started sending her packages. And you are all very much younger, but perhaps your your parents remember, your grandparents. In those days, there was somebody very well known in the makeup industry. Her name was Helen Rubenstein. I just got out of that Zoom meeting. It was a beautiful story from a beautiful woman. She was a Holocaust survivor. Her name is Maya Trillian. She's a survivor of the Warsaw Ghetto. We had the opportunity to have a discussion with her. She told us her life story and how she managed to escape the Nazis during World War II, how her family managed to escape. I don't know, it just makes you appreciate a lot of things and makes you reflect on how, how much of a tragedy the Holocaust really was. So I'm glad I really got to get insights on that. I don't know, I just appreciate that. Just dropped my car off at the shop. I'll pick it up later because I have class. Good thing I don't work today, surprisingly. And then after my class at four, I'll just come and pick it up. So right now I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm starving. All I drank was my protein shake this morning. And then after that, get ready for class. Yeah, then pick up my car and then go to the gym right after. And that's gonna be my Tuesday. It's been a week already. It's been a pretty busy week, despite not having to do much homework. Since I'm home alone, I had to take a lift to the auto shop. They installed the car. Now I'm gonna go to the gym. See y'all at home where I can end this video. Alright, so I'm finishing the video like this. It's gonna be a little over 17 minutes and it's already 11 o'clock. It's 11.09 p.m. I should really take a shower and get ready for bed because I gotta be up early tomorrow for PT and it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow just because tomorrow is Wednesday and I have lab that day. Just wanna say thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're an IR major and we can discuss below. Let me know if you go to UC Davis too, if you like the school or not. Let me know if you're in AutoZone working and why you're deciding to stay instead of quitting. Let me know if you're in ROTC as well. I wanna hear your thoughts on your program in your school. Let me know if you're in UC davis rotc i'm just kidding i don't want to talk to you and yeah that was the video so thank you all for watching see y'all next time peace out